Welcome back, everyone. I'm jumping back on the ladder. I missed last week. Um, just had a lot of stuff going on. So I just do a quick video here. Uh, really bad rank right now. I tried a lot of kind of different stuff. I'm actually underwater on my score. Um, last team I built was this Golden Go, uh, like Galarian Zapdos team. It might be okay. I just was struggling with it. Like, um, this was, uh, like, it might look somewhat familiar to you. This was the iteration of the Mimikyu team I originally built that I didn't uh, premiere on the channel. Uh, like I had heat train and stuff on there, which is which is good. It's just like it doesn't pull out enough offense. Like I need Torkoal, plus then Walking Wake can uh, benefit from it, the sun as well, and I have somewhat of a fast mode. Uh, so I'm gonna stick with this just for this episode. Um, maybe another one, and then uh, do a team builder on it, and then move on. Like I know we're getting hopefully another month. We'll have another regulation, and uh, hopefully we shake things up, but. Um, this regulation started with a lot of kind of different options, and now it's kind of it's kind of like solidifying into just a few things I don't really super enjoy playing with. But um, uh, like that balance core that's been like basically flying around is like most popular. Uh, this is kind of interesting though. Um, can be good, but I'm just so sick of tornadoes. I love tornadoes, and I'm just I'm even I'm sick of it. So um, we're definitely going trick room here because he's got a lot of fast guys. But I don't want Torkoal, so I'm going to go Ursaluna. Walking Wake. All right, Walking Wake is good when, when Trick Room ends. Obviously, it's not the fastest thing ever, but uh, if I can get rid of Flutter Main, then it doesn't really struggle. Uh, it's got really good typing for a lot of good things in the meta that are out there, so um, might be a little bit slept on. You do kind of want Sun for it, though, as a thing. Like, you could run Manual Sun with Tornadoes. Um, I did try Nine Tails a couple times, but that's kind of a niche pick. It just doesn't do much. Um, with Encore, it can, it can be supported. But I used that in Sword and Shield, uh, or Nine Tails. It wasn't like a Nine Tails centric team, but I had Nine Tails Venusaur on it that I really liked. But um, that was more of like a Gigantamax Lapras team. So um, we'll see how we do. This is the team I'm probably most comfortable with playing for this um, format we're in right now. Uh, I just want to try something else that works. Like it, everything else seems like a crapshoot, really. I think Trick Room is really the strongest. Like, like, speed control and boosting is so popular. Like with, uh, like really just tornadoes and like uh, so many things that can boost, and even if it's just booster energy, that Trick Room is just superior because you get it for longer. You can be bulkier to take that stuff. So, okay. So here we go again with the Flutter Main. They always have to leave the Flutter Main. So yeah, so his booster energy is not Sash. And he might just Terrasalize into a ghost type um, with the fish or not. Uh, or he'll just attack me and I might not take him out. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Flutter Main. So depending on if that's um, like specs to you, I don't know if that like a Dark Pulse can knock out Mimikyu. I don't I might just survive it. But again, if Flutter Main goes down here, then... Um, Walking Wake comes in has like a lot easier time. Oh, I'm definitely not worried about that. So he's just heat waving. Yeah, he's heat waves. So as long as I'm gonna burn. All right, cool. So kill that thing. And let's see what he has next. If long as he doesn't trastalize, like, uh, Drain Punch will get a lot back from Chi Yu. There's a lot, there's a couple good, uh, Trick Room Setters, like, like, Cresselia, um, Frigraph in this, but I feel like Mimikyu's just better. Like, having that uh, Fairy Typing with all the Urshifu going around is good, too. Like, the other two just lose a Dark Type Urshifu. Okay. So, we have traditional Lander Sphere in here, which is fine. I'm going to Drain Punch this guy, and I'm just going to burn Landris. If I miss the burn, I get knocked out on Iron Hands, then that's great. Ursaluna comes in, then. So he thinks he wants to protect to you here. This might be the Ghost-type Terrasalize. I have a Ghost-type Terrasalize, so... But with a Drain Punch, I just do, and I get a burn at the end. If, like, if I, as long as I get the burn, I feel okay. And I'll probably honestly go after... Landris, 
Like just double Landers if I can. Maybe not. I mean, w Walking Wake is a good a good uh, matchup to both these guys. Or he just pulls that. Okay, so he wants to save his Trastalization. Alright, well that thing's getting punched. I'll take that, actually. Because that's what Walking Wake doesn't want to go against is, is uh, Ogre Pond. I try to use Ogre Pond a lot, too. I like Ogre Pond. Like, obviously, it's got everything kind of going for it with typing and uh, getting access to follow me and stuff. It's just... Um, I mean, probably, like, getting it, getting it moving. Like, I'm running, like, a max speed one now on the other team just to try to get some offense out of it. People seem to like to focus it down so much. So, it's like, if you're going to go follow me, you want to be a little bulky, and then you're not, like, doing any damage. Okay, so here we go. I kind of want to get knocked out here. Three turns trick room left. Mm. I mean, he might spiky shield is my concern. I'm going to try to double the ogre pawn. He might just spiky shield. Yeah, he's spiky shield. Yeah, that's what I figured. So maybe uh, Iron Hands. This is Iron Hands getting knocked out here. And that's fine. Play rough, okay, dink. So, let's see what he does. Having Willowless is just, like, I don't have Intimidate on this team, but Willowless is just so much nicer, because I, like, Urshifu doesn't care about Intimidate. Just hitting through it with his crits anyway. So, um, I feel like any team I build, I'm going to have to have Willowless. Um, I do keep like a like a team builder like checklist that I, I not say I'm like super married to all the time, but I kind of guide through to the um, through the team building process. When I do the team builder for this team and post a rental code, I'll try to just bring that document up and go over it. See if you guys take anything away from that. Okay, come on. Or probably has like goat feet. It's got little like hooves. I think I get this field a lot now. I wonder if there's a way you can choose where or uh, uh, make it more likely to get a certain field. I can sort of shield if you had it on your lead card, like your little pitcher, and it would get it more often. So I'll have to see if I can get that. Okay. Is this? Oh, probably just yeah. Okay. Well, I'll, maybe I should have burned that thing, but that's fine. I want a hyper voice so I can get my my throat uh, spray. But um. Even with modest, like basically max special attack, why oh, didn't trash slimes? <laughs> Oops! Now I forgot to trash slimes. Come on, mimic you. Oh god! Oh man, that would have that would definitely made the difference too. Ah! Okay, well that's my fault. <laughs> I definitely would have got the extra out of that. I was just talking about how Ursula doesn't do does kind of disappointing damage sometimes with the first hyper voice, and then well, that doesn't help that I didn't try slice. So, all right, so walking wake. So obviously, walking wake is going to be the slowest thing in the field right now. It's the last turn of trick room, but I should definitely get. Um, I should definitely get. Ogre pond now with this. He probably just protects waiting, but then then what do you do? Like I'm just not worried about landers right now. Yeah, Spike shield, okay. Which is honestly fine. I mean landers is not doing a lot of damage here. Okay, tantrums again. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so we kill that thing. So the problem will be So he spiky shielded. Alright. So we're gonna outspeed uh Chi Yu, but the thing is he can redirect us. He's still got full HP too. Okay. So we're gonna get rid of this guy. I just can't hit with a water move. I'll just hit into him. Like I, I was in a trick room, but I don't think Mimic can really take it. I need, I need Walking Wake to stay alive here. 
So if he dark pulses... I don't know. We might be turned around here on this now. By playing too fast. Forgetting that Trassalization was huge. Like, that would have just got me to knock on this stupid thing. Alright, so he goes for follow me. Knock him out. Okay. Alrighty. And ugh, that life orb damage is going to get me. Oh, he just snarls. Oh, it knocks me out anyway. Oh my god. Ugh. Well, that's disappointing. Okay, yeah, we're done. Oh, dang it. Well, I'll just resign from it. Well, uh, if I didn't forget to trash last there, I'm playing too fast, and obviously I'm doing commentary too, so. <laughs> Gotta slow down a little bit. Like, we had that game in the bag with, um,. With trasalizing, because I, mean, I wouldn't have to knock out the, I would have got a hydra steam on on that thing, and he couldn't have, um, he could not have um, trasalized to change his typings. He already did that, so all right, we'll try again. Like, part of the problem is I'm so comfortable playing this team. Obviously, I forgot that one thing. Like, every move kind of seems automatic that I can very easily forget things like that if I'm playing too fast. So that was unfortunate. Like, we kind of had that game locked up. Okay. Oh, my score. Terrible. Okay. So, what is that thing? I know what it is, but I don't know what it does. Okay. Well, whatever that is. So, this actually could be a strategy that I was running with um, Bulldoze uh, and Metagross with a, with a weakness policy. It definitely could be that. I don't have any... Uh, i got to figure out how I can stop it. Like, Mimikyu definitely isn't the trick there. Like, I could sucker punch. That's what you do. Mm. Yeah. I could sucker punch it. Yeah, I want that either. I really, I want Walking Wake. All right, we'll try, we'll try that. My computer's doing something crazy. All right, we'll try that. Um, I don't know if this is that's what this is or not, but if it's Sash Dragapult, then I really don't have a way to stop it. So he gets boosted. I couldn't have burned him with Mimikyu because he would have just broke my disguise with Bulldoze and then Iron Headed me. So basically, if you're not familiar with it. A fast bulldozer, especially one you can't fake out, bulldozes the other side, it lowers the speed of your opponents, then it procs a weakness policy on Metagross, so it doesn't look like he's going for that here. Um, this is actually pretty ideal, actually. So a lot of times they're Covert Cloak on um, Thunderous, so I'm just going to attack Thunderous. I could actually turn out. I'll leave Iron Hands in. I'll just heavy slam thunderous. We go. For, I mean, he probably works around this uh, sucker punch. Oh, he pushes that. Okay. This is probably Metagross then. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Oh, he burns me. That's kind of cool, actually. I should use Dragapult. Dragapult's kind of fun. Like, I'm still lowering their defenses with uh, the ability, so. So, yeah, I do a ton of damage. So, which is really, like, I like 10 power on this team, too. And um, I don't know if you see my else, I have Haze. So, like, what do you do now? I can still sucker punch him. I don't want to be. I'm going to just Ice Spinner. Um, if it's more of a supportive Dragapult, I don't want to be burned on Iron Hands. So, I'm going to switch to Torkoal. And I'll just get rid of the Glade. So, yeah, Torkoal, a little, little uh, like, awkward run without Trick Room. But people know it can be a threat, like, even with just with Heat Wave. Yeah, it doesn't affect me. So... Um, a lot of times they'll designate so many resources trying to knock it out that you can that you can work around. That you, it's kind of like redirecting their attacks almost. It's like, oh, Torka, we gotta kill that thing. 
And obviously for the sun, and since it is so bulky, you can usually get a couple of heat waves off for faints, even if you're not in trick room. But um, I would like to have a faster sunsetter. Like as soon as we get into GS Cup and we get like Mirrodon and uh, Curadon, like those are gonna be everywhere. Like I said, they activate so many abilities. All right, so this guy's back. I'm not really worried about him. Like Tailwind doesn't get him very far. I do want to get rid of this Dragapult though, just because I don't want to get burned on Iron Hands when I come back out. I'll just heat wave. Like, yeah, I'm burned, but with the ability, uh, Ice Spinner still do, do, will probably do quite a bit. So, is this Trastalizing Dragapult? Ugh. Of course it does. Electric type. Okay. So, is he Terror Blast Dragapult? He rain dances. So, is he Thunder Dragapult? Like, that's obviously unfortunate. I lost my son. He's Thunder Dragapult. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I haven't seen an animation for Thunder in this yet. It didn't even knock me out, though. That's funny. Okay. Alright. But Torgo came off kind of scot free, just lost his weather. So. Um. I might still need Chin Pao just for this. Just for the ability. Mm, nah, I'll, st I'll, st I'll stay in. I'll sucker punch now. Well, I'll take Chip on this guy, actually. And I'll just uh, Earth Power him. See, that's still not bad damage, even with being burned. Okay, Chip I gotta be careful with, but it is good. Okay, well, Torkoal took a lot more from that. Okay. I might have knocked out, actually. Yeah, okay, Torkoal's gone. Torkoal! Okay, so... The main thing I'm afraid of is... Um... The main thing I'm afraid of is Will-O-Wisp. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. So now, I can just Hydrocene this guy. And I'll fake out Dragapult. Like, no matter what comes out, um, I feel pretty safe with Iron Hands. I don't want to get burned, but I can just chip something. These guys are pretty low. He's even almost dead now. He tailwinds, which Dragapult would have been faster than um, Walking Wake anyway. That's kind of cool. You're just throwing a lot of... I mean, you kind of want an electric type for that just to get the extra boost, but... Um, I want to I want to so really perfect a rain team, too, because there's a lot of things in this format that benefit from having rain up. Um, I did. I was running a team with that uh, Archaladon also. It's, it's just inconsistent. Like, it's okay, but you kind of want to self in that thing. Okay, I don't know what this thing does. <laughs> I have no idea what this thing does. So, um... Well, I'm not going to run. All right, so get rid of that. So we kind of both. I feel like I gotta I got get rid of Dragapult. Just so I don't get burned. I mean, he might burn me right now. Meet Dracos. Okay, good. I'm glad I protected them. Here he goes. Okay, yeah, I'm taking that all day from him. Okay, so Dragapult's gone. So now it's just this guy. I mean, that's all he's got. That's fine. And Dragapult outsped him, so it means he this isn't like weird swift swim thing or something. I, I, just, I haven't read up on this guy at all. Okay, we're going to Hydra Steam him. Super effective. We're going to do that. Well, I might as well Drain Punch. Just to get some HP back. Oh, he is fast. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Is that self, self rocks? Oh, cool. Weird, but cool. We'll take that. Blank. Okay. So, one win, one loss. Um, I'm so mad at myself about that last game. Trash slicing would have made the difference there. I just know it. So, like, one of the drawbacks that Ursula, well, the way I'm running it with throat, uh, throat spray is you gotta get the hyper voice off first. And even with trash sometimes it can be overwhelming for the damage until you're after your boost. Um, and I have a light life orb on uh, 
walking wake, so I don't necessarily want to use it on that. Okay. We'll do one more game. I'll try to do my team build. I'll attach it at the end of this video. Uh, okay, we'll continue battling. So you can see on paper this team might look. I mean, it, you can see how it makes sense, but it might be because I'm so, like kind of practiced with it now. Um, but it doesn't super rely on Trick Room. Like Torkoal didn't do much in that in that game except just kind of distract my opponent. Honestly. Um, okay. Oh, here's an ice team. This seems actually pretty cool. Like I was, I actually was trying to run an Articuno team uh, earlier in the season, but I didn't have Hail with it, which I probably should have. But I can see how that's got a good matchup against uh, some stuff. Okay, so we're lucky we have Sun, right? Uh, I am gonna go Iron Hands. Like this guy doesn't want Trick Room, so we're gonna go Trick Room. Um, I don't know if I want Walking Wake here. If I take Ursaluna, I definitely have to Trasalize it. Yeah, Landers is one of the things I stopped reusing this team because there were so many Landers running around. I think I'm okay to have uh, Chin Pao. Because he does hit a couple of these guys super effectively, like Landers, um, Raging Bolt, if it, if it wasn't Trasalize, which probably will be. But usually that, I mean, having Ursula for ground type coverage is good, but like usually that thing just trastalizes anyway. Um, I can hit the uh, Hasuian Arcanine with a uh, fighting move. Like Iron Hands has got such good coverage. Like you don't, it, it, com it compresses a lot of rolls into itself. So I feel good about it. Definitely my favorite Paradox Pokemon so far. Like um, I like Fluttermane too, but it's, it's just so frail. You really gotta box your opponent in to get to get a lot of mileage out of it. Okay. Okay. So that's not great. Um, this stupid thing. Uh, okay. So I kind of want to hit this guy. You know, trick room. We'll see how much. I mean, I do want to hit the landers too because I'm gonna take our big earth power here, and he'll definitely get Aurora Veil. I mean, I could have just faked out Landorus, I guess. Mm -mm. I probably just should have faked him out. Oh, he put up a sub. Definitely should have faked him. Out. <laughs> okay. I mean, at least I didn't take any damage. Uh. Did he? Move? Yeah, he went already, right? Or Aurora Veil? I feel like I didn't see it. I was worried about what Landers was doing. <laughs> Alright, so we trick groomed. So the big thing is getting keeping the substitute off of Landers. So Chimpao can maybe eventually knock it out here. Okay, so he's done getting hail though. He's done getting snow, whatever they call it. Alright, so that thing. Okay, cool. Alright, so what else I got? Okay, I did do have Aurora Veil. That's unfortunate. I want to break that sub, but if he just... If he just follow, goes for follow me, I'll get a resisted hit then. Shh. Should I burn in the Ogre Pond? Ba -ba -bow. Okay, that's gotta be a sub done. Critical anyway. Okay. Thing is, if he if he gets burned on Ogre Pond here, then he he might as well just follow me every time because he's not gonna be doing any damage. Bloop. Okay. So he got burned. Earth power that knocked me out. Okay, I think does a lot. Okay. Oh, they're going after Iron Hands. Smart. Get rid of Iron Hands. Okay, but the thing is, now he doesn't have the sub protection. And even if he goes for the Trash Slides on um, Ogre Pond, he's still burned. So he's not going to be hitting me with a lot. And I'm going to double it. And they're not putting that snow back up. So I'm going to erupt, and I'll go for Play Rough. So that's the thing, like, Iron Hand's hard to knock out anyway, and it just chips things down and actually can do good damage, and then 
if you're in trickery when you knock it out, you kind of don't want that because then you let a sweeper in, so it's kind of hard to decide. And then a lot of times they just ignore Mimikyu. Like, Mimikyu still has this disguise and everything. Okay, yeah, he's going to try to slice, which is fine. Like, I, I don't know if I'll get it here um, with the double up, but um, it's still burned, so I might be relying on Heat Wave depending on how much damage it does. But it'll be so close. Eruption, blah. Oh, I didn't get the landers. That's surprising. I definitely didn't get that. Okay. Oh, he's about mimic you. Okay. I'm really surprised I didn't get landers there. All right, let's see how much Ivy Cudgel does with a burn. In the sun. Yeah, he doesn't do anything. So. Almost because I don't want to miss i'm gonna erupt again and i'll just keep chipping play roughs down on this thing like hopefully i get it with that i don't want to risk on a heat wave miss but you see i, I torkoal is just so bulky like even in, i guess in the sun and burn but still that's not hardly any damage from that oh right, he's just double protecting okay might have been a little overconfident in that Ivy Cudgel. Even, I mean, you should have known he was going to knock me out being burned, but um, I think if I'm him, I'm taking out Torkoal there with uh, with Landris. But maybe he didn't think he'd get an attack off. Um, did you, I'm kind of surprised he survived that. All right, another tick of burn actually will help us. Okay, uh, what do we have for Trick Room turns? One turn Trick Room left. We're going to erupt again. We're going to do that again. Oh, it does nothing to the thing. I might, I should get it after a burn, but we've seen it's doing no damage, right? Like, don't mess. No, okay. <laughs> okay, we got it. All right, cool. I don't have hardly any attack in Mimic you. Like, that's the EVs you can play around with. But it's like to be really bulky so it doesn't, it gets its trick room. But that's just enough feel for a long time. Like, you can throw burns around, throw taunts around. Um, and there's, like, Perry is just really good coverage. All right. Gorgeous Royal. Oh, there's the thing. Okay. Well, that's super fine. So, Trick Room is over. I'm going to protect. And try to set up again. No, oh, he just canceled. Okay. So, all right. Uh, maybe we'll do one more game. I feel like we got a little bit of roll here. So, um, so that's two victories and one should have been a victory if not for me making a mistake. <laughs> all right. Let's see how it goes. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Mimic U, uh, Iron Hands is quickly becoming my favorite lead in this for sure. Like, I don't know. Like, it's not a particularly, like, it, it, hyper offensive format you wouldn't think because it's not GS Cup and stuff. It doesn't have, like, big max moves and Z moves. But with the max moves, at least you are also Dynamax if you take them. So, all right. Um, oh, he's got a cool team here, too. So, he also doesn't want Trick Room, though. So he's got two water types. He's got good fire resist. He's got one fighting type. Yeah. I think this is Ursa Luna. Uh, I might want Chin Pao, though. Chin Pao or Walking Wake? Walking Wake's not so good. He's got two water types. He's got. I'm blanking on the name of that poison fighting type thing. Uh, uh, but that has dry skin, so it's just gonna absorb water type attacks. What the heck's that thing called? That was pretty good in the Ultra series. Well, I guess it was like Sun series, because it was good against Kyogre. Like years ago. I mean, it's got fake out. It can do some cool stuff. So I know it's fighting poison. Uh, Toxicroak. That's what it's called. Jeez, couldn't remember that. Um, I used it, uh, I used that in back then. I uh, tried that a little bit with uh, Salt Fest. It's pretty cool. 
Maybe we'll have to try that again if we get GS Cup rules for. I'm, I'm kind of hoping for that, honestly, <laughs> to get uh, box legendaries for um, regulation G. I'm, I'm kind of excited for that. That's what happens. That's what we kind of need to throw the, to shake the mind up a little bit. Um, a lot of these guys, like some of this power creep, is just crazy. The things are so fast and they hit so hard with these boosting items. All right. I like to play like a like a like a slow methodical game if I can. Like some of this hyper offense, kind of like. All right, mimic you, iron hands, blah blah blah. So he did intimidate me, which is kind of annoying. I would switch. Well, I could vault switch. Let's vault switch. Um, I'll vault switch, and I'll go trick room. So, if I spiky shields for whatever reason, who knows? But I want to get off my intimidate. And if they do blow my disguise, like these guys seem like they want to, they want to hit hard, like they want to try and knock them into out, or maybe even just flinch me um, with the rock slide. So, um, if they do knock me out next turn, then Iron Hands or Slim is really good for Trick Room. Okay, he was going to follow me. That's good. Afraid of a fighting type attack. But even if he does, and he's. Oh, he burned me. Oh, no. Uh, that's annoying. Okay. Well, that's okay. That's why I have, I have um, Chin Pao here. If I need to reduce her defense, I can still do some damage. Okay, that's annoying, but whatever. Um, but they're not even going to attempt to stop Trick Room. Okay, Trick Room's up. So the question is here, I think he tries to attack. I mean, if he goes for follow me and I just whiff earth power, that's not super good either. Yeah, I might wish I earth powered there, but I'm going to not go for it. Let's see what happens. Like, I feel relatively safe. Like, I'd rather have... Ursula against physical attackers. I feel like I can't take a special hit to save his life. Like, um, his stats look, I, I feel like his stats are, like, not represented right. <laughs> like, it shows you good stats, and then in practice, it, it dies easy. Like, I have a pretty bulky set built into it, too. Like, I'm like, God, why does this thing can't stay alive? Okay, here we go. So, you think he's almost, well, he's the, the water type? Oh, he's going for that. Okay, now I'm glad I didn't do it. Because he lost his resistance to normal type attacks, too. Okay, that's fine. So watch how, like, not much damage this does. It did okay, but... Okay, get the burn, get the burn, get the burn. All right, now it'll do a lot. Should knock him out next turn as long as I live through this. All right, we'll get the burn. Blink. Burn. All right. So what are they doing? Oh, he burns me, which is fine. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. A little chip damage over time. I don't care about being burned. Horn leech, I'm... If I had been a grass type, I wouldn't like that still. So that's that's why I made sure. Well, I mean, we had trash lights anyway. We learned that lesson. But okay, so now we can type our ways again. So definitely gets the ogre pond. Yeah, it, uh, if it was a for sure knockout on Arcanine, um, I would switch get Iron Hands in. But especially if I wasn't burned, but I'll just play rough it. I'm probably doing more damage enough to make you now anyway, just from not being burned. So. So we get rid of these guys, or they protect stall or something. Come on. Come on. Any minute now. Uh, this might be the field I'd pick if I if we could influence or, or check it though. Ah, don't protect. Come on. Okay, just delaying the inevitable. Okay. I don't know why I not do that the other way around, but... Okay, so this could be thing coming in. This could be, um...
Toxicar coming in for a fake out too, which is fine. I can still burn him. So. All right, play it off. Dink. He really wants to keep that Arcanine alive because he's loving that Arcanine. Okay. All right, still got time. Still got health. We'll see what we got coming in. Come on, treasure hunter, whoever it is, treasure hunter. Okay, there it is. All right, ooh, a shiny one. All right, so he does have fake out. So I get two trick room turns left. I'm gonna protect. Uh, I'll wisp him. Can't take out mimic you. I still have my disguise. Yeah, he goes for fake out. Do 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 do. All right, so I'll burn him back. So the thing is, I might probably get another trick room. Like, we'll attack next turn. Oh, here comes my disguise, though. I mean, it's not... I still could get another trick room. It's possible. Okay, definitely going to get fake out in. Okay. So now we hyper voice again. But this is the last turn of trick room, I think. So he's definitely protecting here. Yeah. Wiper voice. Um, I mean, that thing could be a self. Uh, I'm not too worried about that thing, I guess. Uh, I'm more worried about Arcanine, honestly. But he probably just double protects here. I mean, well, if he's a self, he wouldn't have protect. So maybe I should have just attacked that thing. <laughs> attacked, uh, I'm just not really worried about what it's going to do. It could have a poison move, but it's neutral on Mimikyu. Or he has Drain Punch or Close Combat or something like that. I mean, being burned, I don't think he's getting me with that. Come on. Oh, he just... See, why would he do that? Why wouldn't he just protect? He can stop tricking him next turn. Okay. That's fine. I get redirected anyway. Yeah, I think you're always protecting there. Last turn, trick him. You protect. And if you can, and then, I don't know, try to stop it. I don't know. So, I'm going to miss that. Oh, never mind. I always think I'm going to miss. It's like that delay. Okay. Okay, goodbye. That's cool to see him, though. All right, so now let's we'll see what we have. Let's try to finish this Ursula now. I guess it's 4 0 so far. But that's why I like keeping the fast guys in the back. So, uh, trick room ends, and then you're usually down to like minimal coverage with your, with your opponents. Like, I don't use Chin Pao a lot, but um, it's helpful when I have it. So he can't try to slide that either, so Earth Power is super effective. So I'm going to protect that. I mean, he's going to probably have steel moves, too. Uh, maybe I won't protect. Maybe I'll just go for that. And trick room. So either he kills him with you and gets an earth power, or he... I don't know if he can kill over Ursula anyway, so it doesn't matter, but... Um, yeah, I flash cannon. Okay, that's what I figured. All right. But that's why I didn't protect. So I'll get the free damage, because he's got to just attack one of us. And he might be assault us. Maybe I can just get a fake out and... Okay, he's not going to... It doesn't matter. Okay, so with my boost... All right, so interesting team, right? We see some uh, cool stuff. But that's kind of like those anti, not really anti meta picks, off meta picks. They just get bodied. Like I, I wish they work better, you know. Um, but it's coming to the point where there's just like twenty good Pokemon, and then you can have a niche pick every now and then. So, okay, hope you guys like that video. Um, that was well, it wasn't four oh there. I let Mimikyu go down. I could have switched, I guess. But, um, but it's still a strong combination. I mean, we're kind of high in the ladder, so it's not like super surprising. <laughs> that we're running through these guys, but uh, my lowest score uh, with that on the ladder was, um, I was in 17th place uh, originally when I built that team, and then I did, that was kind of a grindy day, um, that obviously goes up after you get off, so uh, I will build a team, do a team builder with that, uh, hopefully today, um, and a, a rental code so you guys can kind of check it out, I mean, there are some things that are awkward about it, just like sometimes bringing Torkoal outside of um, Trick Room, uh, it can be a little weird, but um, you are putting some offensive pressure in otherwise, and uh, it can still be good if it gets a couple of heat waves off. Um, it's more of a kind of a supportive role just for the weather there. Um, I did kind of think about putting Bulldoze on that just to, just for some speed control, but it's not getting many free turns. So, uh, but having it in Trick Room obviously is very useful. But um, the Sun boosted with uh, with Walking Wake is just so powerful that. The only thing I wish this team had was some other speed control outside of Trick Room, um, which I, I did talk about, okay, maybe I'll put Icy Wind on Chin Pao, but that really likes to be attacking things. I don't want to give up that Haze 
Um, uh, like, third move on there is Haze, which isn't super, like, really effective or very useful often. But when I go up against uh, Dendozo team, Dendozo teams, it's really useful for that. And that's mostly just a ladder thing. Like, if you're in a competition, um, it's not a guarantee that you'll see that because it's, it's kind of trending down in popularity. But And there's other ways to work around it. Like, you can burn it and stuff like that. But, like, uh, having haze just makes that uh, really easy to win. So when I was low on the ladder and I was fighting a lot of Dendozo, I was like, okay, I'm just done with this Dendozo thing. So that's, that was kind of the whole reason. And also having Shen Pao with Ice Spinner can just, um, just delete psychic terrain and obviously hit uh psychic types for super effective damage after that with sucker punch so uh it's got some niche uses um and obviously to boosting iron hands is uh, damage output too so um really like the team um i will post the team builder on that and then look at uh basically trying some other things uh for my next episode so um if you like the video leave a like on it please and subscribe if you haven't and keep an eye out for the team builder i'll probably just attach this at the end of this video so you might just see it in a couple minutes here uh, well, you definitely will. <laughs> this won't post this until I get a chance to do that, okay? All right. Uh, thank you for joining. I'll see you next time. Hey, everyone. Uh, so you just watched a couple battles with this team. Uh, it might look different than the ones I posted before, but this is actually the original iteration of this team uh, from February, where I did, I did get to, like, 17th, I think, on the ladder. Uh, that was my highest. And then stopped kind of grinding with it and tried some other options, but... Uh, it did work really well for me. Um, I feel like that one of the major things that draws us back is uh, Landers Incarnate, and even uh, Rapid Strike Urshifu can be a struggle, but for the most part, uh, it's pretty consistent. Obviously not um, real meta, so people are uh, kind of thrown off by it. So um, I think it's working in a tournament, but it's more of a, uh, there are some best of one like niches to it. So uh, Trick Room team with uh, Torkoal and Ursula Blood Moon as the Trick Room uh, sweepers. Um, Mimic you as my trick room setter over like Frigraph or Cresselia just because um, Dark type Urshifu is still roaming around. Um, and I think Will O Wisp is really strong just because you really Intimidate doesn't go very far with, with Urshifu and like some other physical attackers just kind of shuts down. So um, I like having Will O Wisp. Uh, has Mental Herb and with Disguise, it's I wouldn't say it's a guaranteed trick room, but you can usually spot what's going to kind of throw you off um, pretty easily when you see it. So um, most of the time, I think I've only failed to get Trick Room maybe a couple times. Uh, most of the time, the opponent, if they have Flutter Main, they're leading that with against Iron Hands Mimic U, and then Iron Hands is just heavy slamming it. It happens very often. So, um, yeah. Uh, so um, basically a bulky spread, 252 HP, 128 in both defenses, Sassy Nature to boost special defense and lower its speed. Uh, I still feel like this is a very like specially oriented um, metagame we're playing in, so a little extra cushion there. Uh, taunt mostly to shut down like a Moongus, um, play rough and trick room obviously. So play rough just for a little bit of stab. Works that's also good against Urshifu. <laughs> so um, not not saying this is like an anti Urshifu thing, but uh, does have some tools that can work against that. Uh, oh, d Ghost type Terra. I usually don't Terra it, but uh, defensive Terra could be an option. But I don't want to usually burn up Terra on uh, on that because I get my trick room typically anyway. Uh, Iron Hands, uh, Steel Type Terra with a Salt Fast, Fake Out, Heavy Slam, Drain Punch, and Bolt Switch. Uh, just for a little bit of utility, so you can Bolt Switch on turn one as your Trick Grooming. Since Mimic Use Trick room is so reliable, uh, you don't necessarily have to burn a Fake Out uh, on it. You can Bolt Switch out at the end of the turn into one of your Sweepers. Uh, 252 Attack, 252 Special Defense, just because we have we do have so many uh, of the Iron Hands threats, even as a Steel Type, are special. And uh, obviously a Special Defense is kind of his Achilles heel, so with the Assault Fast and boosting it with EVs, um, it really walls a lot of things. You think it would do a lot more damage. Um, Brave Nature just to boost attack, just because it does sometimes get stuck out where it doesn't get a good chance to, to vol Voltage out to a Trick Room Sweeper while I have to uh, just do a lot of damage with Iron Hands, which I definitely can work too. Um, there's a lot of games I've won with just Mimic you Iron Hands. Uh, and also I have Will of Wisp support next to it, so defense already being high isn't necessary to like, boost it anymore. Walking Wake, uh, Water Tear type with a Life Orb. I feel like this is a little underrated right now, but it does kind of need Sun to work. Um, so you could run Manual Sun, but obviously have Torkoal here paired with Trick Room. gets a little awkward, but usually it just waits until Trick Room is over and comes in and sweeps at the end. Hydra Seam does a uh, tremendous amount of damage uh, with Life Orb and in the Sun with uh, with uh, Sun boosting its ability. Uh, good coverage with uh, Flamethrower and Draco Meteor, obviously just for one-shot things. Um, that would be fresh for sure weak to dragon like uh, raging bolt stuff like that or um, gouging fire so just straight 252 252 timid nature um, just to try outspeed as much as you can can be an awkward speed uh, tier with 109 
Um, not usually an issue since Iron or Iron Hands is usually taking care of Flutter Main anyway. But uh, Torkoal, just straight easy Torkoal. Uh, Torkoal with Charcoal, Drought, Heat Wave, Eruption, Earth Power, and Protect. 252 HP, 252 Special Attack, and a Quiet Nature for that to maximize that. Can outspeed uh, Moongus, obviously, in uh, Trick Room. Um, so knocking that out. Uh, that's really kind of one of the threats to this team, but uh, works okay out of Trick Room just to support to bring, make sure you bring the sun up in teams you, games you don't have just because it is so bulky, uh, especially on the defensive side. Can usually take a couple hits and, and chip with uh, Heat Wave, but that is kind of the awkward part of this team is not having another um, another speed control um, option, uh, which I've tried flipping things out like on those earlier videos we saw, like Landers and uh, Iron Bundle. Like those obviously can still work, but... Um, I feel like it's getting a little harder to work with that. I kind of like having the ball because I'm relying on tricking most of the time and just waiting for my sweepers to, or my fast mons to come in at the end after trick room's over. Uh, Ursaluna, Blood Moon, kind of in the th like I have a love hate relationship with this thing. I, I don't run Life Orb because obviously it's on Walking Wake, normal type Terror for sure. Throat Spray has been good, but that first Hyper Voice can be kind of under underwhelming. So you definitely want to make sure you get that off um, early and generally safe from a lot of like especially super effective damage. After that, you're doing you're doing a lot. Uh, so Hyper Voice, Blood Moon, Earth Power, Protect, um, 164 for a little bit of bulk and HP, 92 in Special Defense. Since Special, special Defense is like pretty low, um, and it, I feel like it, it gets bodied by special moves pretty easily. So you want to definitely focus on the special attackers when you're in Trick Room, and then max uh, special attack on on that. So with the high special attack, and Chin Pao, uh, kind of the niche pick. This is like the flexible role. You could switch this out with something else. Uh, to fit your needs, but I wanted something else fast. I wanted a way, a dark type to deal with uh, Psychic Spam. Ice Spinner takes that like another step further because you can uh, delete the um, terrain. Uh, now that Iron Crown is so popular, I might change this terror type to like Steel just to re reverse or resist that Tachyon Cutter. It makes it a little difficult since it hits twice. Um, but Focus Sash, other than that, um, it does help coming in even on, in Trick Room because I have Sucker Punch and it's just boosting Iron Hands uh, damage output too, so Iron Hands can heal back more with Drain Punch. Uh, regular, uh, just fast, um, hard-hitting uh, EV spread. Um, jolly, just to try to out outspeed uh, Flutter Man when I see it. So uh, just a very basic breakdown, guys. Not going to go in super detail. I mean, if you look at the list of most common mons in the meta right now, like Flutter Man, like uh, Incineroar, Urshu Rapid Strike, Raging Bolt, like a lot of these have, have trouble with Iron Hands. Like, you can't generally knock it out in one hit. Like, even Flutter Man with, with the spread we're using, I, don't, I usually don't even trash in front of it into a steel type. I just heavy slam it because um, I can generally take what it's throwing at me. We trick room, and then I heal back anyway with Drain Punch. Uh, Rillaboom, Amoongus, Landers. So Landers is a problem, but other than that, like, a lot of these guys, Iron Hands is a good matchup to, and Iron Hands is like 4% or something right now. So um, kind of crazy uh, that it's being looked over a little bit, but since we have Incineroar now with Intimidate, I, I kind of get it. But there's so many good fire types to so swap out for Incineroar. Um, makes it a little more of a challenge. And I feel like will o is a better way to, to negate uh, physical damage just with Earth with with um, Earth for running around, but obviously that's a, that's a move you have to take a turn to do, and Intimidate isn't so. Um, just a little balance there. Uh, and running Haze on Chim Pile is kind of originally what led me to it. I needed, okay, I, I want Haze, I want a Dark type, and I did want Speed Control too, so I was trying uh, Murkrow for a while, and it just gets knocked out too easily. But Haze really for just those those heavy setup teams, uh, Dundozo mostly. Uh, but that could also be Icy Wind or something a little more supportive, but. This thing usually kind of wants to be hitting, like, with its ability and with its high attack power um, and taking KOs. So I don't use Haze very often, but it does come in clutch occasionally. And it feels like that uh, move slot on him is kind of free. So I'll post the the, um, the rental code right after this video, uh, so just stay tuned for a couple seconds. Please leave a like if you uh, like this video and subscribe if you haven't. And let me know if you try the team out or if you make your own changes or if you just try my rental code uh, and see if you have any success with it. All right, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you next time.